Hi, my name is Dr. Retner, and I specialize in the successful treatment of PMS or premenstrual syndrome. Today we'll be going over the anatomy, physiology, and treatment of PMS. The normal menstrual cycle. Menstruation is the shedding of the lining of the uterus. With most women, this occurs each month. The lining of the uterus, or endometrium, increases in thickness throughout the monthly cycle due to an increase in the blood supply to prepare a home for the fertilized egg. If pregnancy does not occur, then this lining is not needed. The uterus cleanses itself of the cells with the monthly bleeding. On day one, the first day of menstruation, estrogen and progesterone levels are extremely low. The hypothalamus reacts by releasing FSHRF, which stimulates the pituitary to produce FSH. FSH stimulates the follicle cells of the ovary to begin increasing in size and producing estrogen. The most common PMS symptoms may be divided into four subgroups. These were developed by Dr. Guy Abraham, a OBGYN doctor in Los Angeles. Subgroup PMTA, eight out of 10 women have this. The symptoms are nervous tension, irritability, and mood swings. The causes, number one, high levels of estrogen and low levels of progesterone. Estrogen is a central nervous system stimulant and causes a stress reaction, bringing about aggression and hostile behavior. PMTH, six out of 10 women suffer from this. Symptoms are weight gain, abdominal bloating, swelling of fingers and ankles. And the weight gain occurs a few days preceding your period. Your rings won't fit and your shoes are too tight and your dresses are too tight around the waist. Congestion and tenderness in the lower abdomen and breasts also occurs. In order to effectively treat PMS, it must be approached holistically. The underlying cause must be treated using chiropractic adjustments, diet, exercise, herbs, and supplements. The following is a discussion of alternatives to drugs and surgery. Number one, chiropractic adjustments are given to improve nerve and blood flow to the reproductive organs. This may reduce cramping, nervous tension, and craving for sweets. Misalignments of the sacroiliac joint or a malposition of the uterus can cause menstrual cramps. The women's multivitamin, multimineral formula, Maxivite, is very effective. It has twice as much magnesium as calcium, which is very important. Most vitamin supplements have twice as much calcium as magnesium. You can have an increased need for magnesium Therefore, taking a regular multivitamin can actually make your PMS worse. Depression, forgetfulness, crying, and insomnia, the treatment is vitamin E with selenium, four to 600 IUs per day. For PMTC or sugar cravings or eating binges, the best treatment is essential fatty acids, evening primrose oil, magnesium. For PMTD or depression, forgetfulness, crying easily, confusion, difficulty sleeping, the best treatment is magnesium. Herbal formula Buplerum sedative pills is helpful for low energy, depression, nervousness, insomnia. The Chinese herbal formula Wu Chi Pei Fang Wan. The Wu Chi Pei Fang Wan comes in a little egg. This is what it looks like. And then you just open it up, and there are these black pills in here. And you take one set of all the black pills per day. Factors affecting PMS. Childbirth. The more childbirths, the more severe the PMS, especially with toxemia during pregnancy. Married women complain more of PMS than single women. PMS is a major cause of divorce. The recommended diet for PMS. Eat a lot of natural foods. Limit your intake of red meat, dairy products, fats, and cooked oils. These should comprise no more than 10% of your diet. Animal fat tends to increase estrogen levels, swelling, cramping, and breast cancer. Limit your consumption of coffee, cola drinks, alcohol, and non-herbal tea, and chocolate. These items are high in methyl xanthine and can cause vitamin B, potassium, and zinc deficiencies, breast lumps, and breast tenderness. I will now demonstrate how to stimulate the neurolymphatic points. What you do is you find the neurolymphatic point and rub it very vigorously like this in a clockwise or counterclockwise motion for about 30 seconds. And it should be very deep, even to the point where it may hurt a little bit. 
This will help improve the circulation to the lymph system and will help alleviate some of the symptoms. The second set of neurolymphatic points help to relieve fluid retention, weight gain, and acne. These are located one inch up from the navel and one inch to either side. And there are two located on the back. And these are located between the 12th thoracic and the first lumbar vertebrae. The third neurolymphatic point is used for carbohydrate craving, dizziness, and fatigue. In conclusion, a nation is only as strong as the family unit. You are the center of this unit. If you are not at your best, everyone suffers. Don't let PMS ruin your marriage, your family, your relationships, or your life. Thank you.